So we've got our dude. He scoots around. Now let's kill him. Oh, yeah. Get <laughs> He's getting too uppity. He's got to get taken down a peg. OK, so this is what I want you to do with this actor. Everybody just watch me real quick, because it can get a little weird. When I take this actor, right, and I drag him onto the screen, if I click on him, you see all these little dots around him? Now watch, I can move him with like the keyboard. I can click on these dots. Watch this. I can stretch him. The dots will stretch him. The middle thing will rotate. So this is the wonderful thing about this game. You can delete the things off the scene. Like, I can get rid of this as many times as I want. It doesn't delete the actor. And so I can bring in multiple actors. So if I bring in multiple lavas and wall off, essentially, the edge of the screen, so I'll just bring them in and just wall this off. Go. Just walling off the screen. Now let me save that in case it crash. Remember, Command S is save. It's your best friend. Also, Command Z is undo. That might also help. So now let's. We have to tell player, die essentially. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in back into player. And what do we need for this? We need a what? A rule. 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 Yes. Yes. So watch. I'll make a new rule. And you'll see I've got mouse position, but I also have overlaps or collides. Game Salad has a full collision engine that we can count on. So I'll just go actor receives event, overlaps or collides, and then it goes actor of type. So I can just say what I want it to collide with. And what's our only other actor? It's the lava. So I click that. So all you need is actor receives event, overlaps or collides with actor of type lava. OK, so what do we want to do when he collides with him? We want to murder him. We want him dead. We hate him. So if you go down through behaviors, you'll see destroy. So we'll just drag that right in there. Now, what destroy does is it takes something off the scene forever. It kills it. it. Doesn't sit in memory. It doesn't take up any space. It's just gone. Which is good. Anything that you don't use in a scene, you must destroy. As an example, like if we were doing like a, uh, a shooting game, you know the bullets when they fly out? If you don't destroy them when they leave the screen, they're essentially traveling forever. And the takes up memory, yeah. And if they keep doing it, you're essentially, you'll crash after a while. Because, um, you know, if you ever wonder why games look the way they do, and certain things look the way they do, memory. It's all about memory. And it's all about making the game run nice. Because you, we've all played games where they sit there going like, duh, 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 and it just, it's awful. It's the worst thing ever. So just remember that general rule of thumb, you're not using it, destroy it. OK, so I'll title this Kill. And I can collapse that and save. So now, if I have my dude flying around, boop, dead. So this is the cool thing. We can make levels now. So if we wanted to, I can maybe start him over here. I just put like a little brick. So with game design, what you want to do is, with your starter levels, you're essentially a teacher. Okay. So you want to teach the player. The player is not your enemy. So you want them to get used to the controls, then gradually increase challenge. So that's difficulty curve. So I'll just put a little thing in here, just like that, whatever. And so we have the start of a first level. Basically, the destroy command, wherever it sits, is the actor it destroys. So if you call it in player, it'll destroy player. If you do it in um, lava, It'll destroy the lava. So we've got the lava. We've killed it. Now let's make it pretty. So what we can do is um, I've, gave, I've given you guys the asset packs. Now if you notice, we've got behaviors, but we also have images and sounds. 
Now, you guys got to pay really close attention. This is super hard. OK? So I'm going to click on images, right? I'm going to click on the plus. Then I'll go and find my asset for lava. Yeah. Oh, you can import whatever you want. In the end, we're going to have everything in there. And oh my god, it's in there. That was it. Now, it's in the game, but it isn't on the actor. So you ready for how hard this is? Yeah. Brace yourselves. Brace. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm going to drag the lava. Whoop, if I actually dragged it, that would help. Onto the actor I want. And now it's lava. Now that looks horrible. So you notice. This doesn't exactly look, you know, good. So let's tinker with it a little bit. Now, what the default is, is it sets the image to wrap and stretch with the actor. We don't want that. We want it to tile. So just So what we can do is, if we go into lava, you see I have all my stuff over here. here let me just move that off the side. You see graphics? Mm -hmm. Check this out. If I expand that. We have horizontal wrap, vertical wrap. What do we got? Stretch. We don't want that. If I put these both on tile, and then go down and set my tile width and height. So the image I gave you is 50 by 50. So if I just make that 50 by 50, we can go back. And now it's tiled. So that'll make it, that's, that's a good way for actors that you're going to stretch or like move. It's a good way to, um, you know, make them look pretty. You can tile things. The lava on its own, hmm, kind of threatening. But let's make it more threatening. Let's animate it, right? Let's make it fancy. So if I add another image, I've got lava02 GIF. I'll bring that in. And if I go into lava, watch this. We have a behavior called animate. So I can drag that in. Now what this does is it'll play a series of images as fast or as slow as you want it to. So I can go in here and just drag in my images. So lava 1, lava 2. And it starts at 10 frames a second. You can mess with it. Put it whatever you want. I'm going to put mine at 5. And that's just loose in the actor. If you leave any behavior loose in the actor, it just goes. So that's all I'm doing. The behavior is animate, and I'm dragging it into lava. So that should look like this. So it's just loose right there in lava. What we'll do is we'll make this real simple. I'll just add the other image for the spaceship. So just add one of them, and then just drag it on there. So you're a spaceship flying through a lava field in space, because you know why not? It's a video game. You can do whatever you want. So you should have this.